Lord Wahid Ali, a prominent Labour donor, has found himself at the centre of controversy as the House of Lords initiates an investigation into his failure to declare certain business interests appropriately. Ali, who has been a significant financial backer for the Labour Party, including providing lavish gifts to senior party figures like Prime Minister Keir Starmer, is now under scrutiny for potentially breaching the Lord's Code of Conduct. Recent revelations highlighted by investigative journalism pointed out that Lord Ali had not initially declared his directorship in a company located in the British Virgin Islands, a known tax haven from which he could potentially benefit significantly. This oversight came to light only after being questioned by media, prompting him to update his register of interests. The investigation, however, might not solely focus on these undeclared interests, but could also delve into how these business dealings intersect with his political activities and donations. Lord Ali's financial support, which included expensive clothing for Starmer and other high-profile Labour members, has drawn considerable attention and criticism, especially after the party's recent election victory. In response to the scrutiny, Prime Minister Starmer and other leading Labour figures have announced they will cease accepting such gifts from Lord Ali. Despite this, Starmer's use of Ali's flat for a Christmas message during Covid restrictions has raised further questions about the boundaries between personal generosity and political influence. Defending his actions, Starmer dismissed accusations of impropriety in his use of Ali's property, branding criticism as farcical. However, the broader implications of such financial relationships between politicians and donors are under increasing public and political examination. The Labour Party maintains that all financial support from Lord Ali has complied with existing rules, arguing that Ali's peerage removes any notion of quid pro quo. Yet, calls from opposition MPs like Brendan O'Hara of the SNP for a comprehensive investigation into these transactions and Ali's access to Downing Street underscore a demand for greater transparency and accountability in political financing. This situation has not only put Lord Ali's political and business dealings under the microscope, but has also reignited debates over political ethics and the influence of wealth in British politics. As the investigation unfolds, it will be crucial in determining whether Lord Ali's activities have indeed overstepped the ethical boundaries set for members of the House of Lords.